Welcome back, everyone. Watching cable news is a lot harder than it used to be, and I'm not really sure what it is exactly. I mean, I used to love hate watching Chris Matthews and Rick Sanchez, for example, but something's changed. Maybe it's just the utter disdain that they show for the average American. Perhaps it's the fact that Marxists, socialists, and communists, both in the media and in the Democrat Party, have been trying to use this outbreak as a catalyst to replace capitalism. Maybe it's this guy's freakishly large face and his view of Americans being freedom-obsessed monsters. The fundamental questions to me is what's going to be our relationship to government, the idea of government after this. And there is a primordial American tradition going back to the founders of being freedom obsessed, even though we're a country founded on slavery and genocide. Ah, here we go. This guy got the Marxist indoctrination version of American history. Yes, there was slavery in the British colonies, and yes, it was still going on after the revolution. It was going on all over the world and included people of all colors, whether they be slaves or the slave drivers. It's going on right now in the Middle East and in Africa. Thomas Jefferson acknowledged it, describing slavery as, quote, Quote, the most unremitting despotism, an outrage bound to provoke the divine wrath. Indeed, Jefferson wrote, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just, that his justice cannot sleep forever. Sorry for the interruption. I promise we'll get right back into the video. But first, let me tell you about this free 30-day offer from Virtual Shield VPN. With the majority of the world's workforce now working from home, VPN security is now preferred. Cyber spying is at an all-time high, and a useful tool that you can use to protect yourself is a VPN, or Virtual Private Network, to scramble your computer identity from nosy cyber criminals. Here, let me show you how easy this is to protect yourself. I'm going to go to www.virtualshield.com or you can also use the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Virtual Shield free 30-day trial. Once you've signed up, simply log in, download the free trial, and install it. Once I'm connected, my IP address is now different than before. See? Virtual Shield is the easiest to use, has the fastest server connections, and offers a money-back guarantee. Due to the recent pandemic of COVID-19, Virtual Shield wants to offer a 50% off all VPN plans and all premium add-ons, including Protection Plus, residential access, and VIP performance plans for as low as a cup of coffee. Sign up now for a free 30-day trial of Virtual Shield VPN and see what all the hype's about. You have nothing to lose. America also ended slavery. We can argue over the reasons for the Civil War, but the fact is we ended slavery through it. As far as America being built on genocide, I flatly reject that entire concept. The history and the relationship between the native inhabitants and the colonists is way more complicated and nuanced than that. We fought a war with the natives and we won. That's not genocide. And those people were fighting each other long before we came. What other country is judged on those standards? It's only America, even though every single country that's ever existed has been founded on war and blood. Trying to damn America and Americans now for things that happened hundreds of years ago is unfair and it ignores the deep desire this country has to improve itself. It just seems like at some point ideological subversion took over and instead of improvement they now want to destroy America and rebuild it in their leftist image. Being freedom obsessed to the point that we are always so afraid of the government coming for us that we are blind to other types of threats, whether it's a virus, whether it's bank malfeasance, or what have, climate change, what have you. Calm down, professor. First of all, nobody's afraid of the government. We just understand that for freedom to thrive, its role must remain as limited as possible. It's strange to hear him say these things when he's usually ranting and raving about how big of a threat Trump is. The same people constantly claim it's a systemically racist and violent government, yet they want to disarm the citizens and leave the government with all the power? It doesn't make any sense. What he really means is he wants to fundamentally transform America into a communist dictatorship controlled by people like him. That's why he doesn't care about freedom. He's a well-paid propagandist for the party. He'll be fine. The rest of you freedom-infected subjects can just fall into line or be re-educated. Seriously, is it just me or is there some Something just off about this guy and it's not just his bread loaf like head and why do all of his pictures look like haircut examples that you would see at a hair salon there's a small c conservative militant version of it but there's also it, it has infected many people on the left in, in in this passive sense that yeah i believe in government but i would never go work there or um, so and then there's the more recent trump era twist in this which is 
the war on government becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You undermine government, you undermine it, you undermine it. You put someone who can barely read a sentence in government, in, in the figure of Donald Trump, and it becomes true that government sucks because you've made it suck by telling everybody it sucks. What? And it becomes true that government sucks because you've made it suck by telling everybody it sucks. This dude really thinks he just cracked the case. The government sucks because critics keep criticizing it. There was absolutely no reason to scrutinize or criticize the government up until Trump became president, which of course was our devious plan all along. We have natural rights that are laid out by the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. The only thing that can take that away from us is the government or a foreign power. And apparently the media, which seems dead set on using government to silence their opposition. Mr. Garandatis actually followed up on Twitter, digging his hole even deeper by responding to a Newsbusters article saying, quote, yes, because they're killing us with their bizarre fantasies of liberation amid a pandemic. Apparently all those things just go out the window for a virus that the vast majority of people won't be hospitalized for and will recover from. I thought the point of this lockdown was to flatten the curve and it appears that's been achieved. What I think we're witnessing now are leftists in positions of power not letting a good crisis go to waste. They're not even being sneaky about it, openly calling for fundamental transformation of this country. I think it's time now more than ever to be vigilant. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It's one of the best ways you can support this channel. If you'd like to further support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms, which you can find the links for in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.